Hello and welcome to another uh, Sony Vegas tutorial. Okay, in this uh, tutorial here, I'm going to show you how to download and edit this uh, intro that I have at the beginning of this video. Um, but first, let me tell you uh, a few things that you need to know. Okay, the music on it is royalty free. Okay, and the music on this particular video is called uh, Big Rock. And it's by Kevin, uh, Kevin McLeod. Okay, and... Um, for your YouTube partners, you will be able to use this as well, uh, because uh, Kevin McLeod, I believe I'm saying his name right, uh, is allowing you to use this for uh, for you guys uh, to have on YouTube and make money from it. So, uh, the only thing that you'll need is the title name right here, which I'll have all this in the description below. So all you have to do is copy and paste that into YouTube. And um, but you'll need all this information right here. Now, uh, now the video is from a website called IgniteMotion.com. And, um, and it's in the Halloween section videos, and you should see it right here, which is uh, the chain loop. Okay. Uh, oh, one more thing. The uh, music that I got uh, is from Impotech.com. I believe I pronounced that correctly, but I got that from uh, his website. Uh, by the way, it's a good website. It has has a lot of royalty free music that you can use for uh, videos and stuff. But anyhow, if you go to the link that I provide there in the description, it will take you to. It will take you to my website here, and on my website, you should be automatically coming to the intro downloads page right here. Uh, if not, just go over here uh, and click on this link right here. It will take you to this page. Now, um, once you do that, um, you should find a video you want, because I have several more here. I haven't yet uploaded them to my website yet, but I will. Uh, but you should have the video right here, and the only thing you have to do is go down to where you see like the name of the intro and just click on that, and it will take you here. And the only thing that you need to do right here is click here to uh, start the download. Okay, you'll need one of two programs. You don't need them both, but you need at least one of them uh, if you haven't already got it. Uh, one is 7-Zip or Renoir. Uh, now, 7-Zip is, uh, is free. It's freeware. Uh, and Renoir, you have to pay for it. But then again, I've used Renoir for a long time and never had a problem or had to pay for it. Um, but either one of those programs would do. Because when you download that, it's going to come in a zip file. As you can see right here. Now, <coughs> if you have, um, um, if you if you're downloading using uh, Mozilla Firefox, and uh, you have uh, Vista or Windows 7, it's going to be in your downloads folder. Unless, of course, you got your got it set up to where you could pick where you want to download your uh, files at. In that case, it's wherever you decided to download. For XP, it'll be in My Documents Downloads. Unless, of course, you know you pick somewhere else for it to be downloaded to. Okay, now that I got all that stuff out of the way, let's go ahead and get started on how to edit it. Now, what you do right here is you right-click on the file, and you go down to Extract to uh, File Name. Okay, and uh, you should get this file right here. All you have to do is open it, and you'll see the file right here. Open that one. Now, <coughs> as you can see in this file, you have uh, a couple of files right here. This is the main one you're going to click on, but don't do it yet. Don't click on this file yet. As you can see right here, I have fonts. Okay, you need to install these fonts before you even click on this file. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open this up. Okay, and right here, as you can see, there's like a lot of fonts. Okay, um, now for this particular one uh, uh, video, it has this right here. This is the font that's used for it, which is uh, uh, C H E L P T. You know, it's this file right here. Uh, but what I would do is go ahead and use all of these fonts right here. Uh, it, don't worry, it won't mess up your computer or anything. Just add a few extra fonts on there. And you might like a lot of them. A lot of them got some really good fonts on there. Um, but to do this, uh, it's real simple and easy to do. I mean, it's just real easy. All you have to do is go to Start, Control Panel, and make sure you're on large icons. Okay. Uh, for Windows 7 and Vista, I believe it's the same way. And for XP, I think you have to go to the classic view while you're in there in order to get to this. And all you have to do is go to fonts. Once you're in fonts, you can see you can see all the other fonts here. Okay, the font that you'll be using for this video is actually right here, the Chelp Press Trial Trial. So we click on that. Don't worry, it's not a trial or anything. Um, but uh, this is what the font's going to look like for this video. Uh, but anyhow, if you click and go ahead and drag all those files over there, that'd be great. Remember, do not uh, do not drag this one right here where it says first how to install. This is just information for you, just in case you forgot or uh, someone didn't watch the video. So simple and easy enough, right? Okay, now back to this file right here. 
The only thing that you need to do from here is just click on chain info intro. Wait for Sony Vegas. Oh, by the way, this is for Sony Vegas 9. It, it'll probably work on 10. I believe it'll probably work on 10 as well, and maybe even 8. I'm not sure. <clears throat> but I would think it would work for that. Okay, now when it first comes up, uh, it might ask you, ask you where's the other file that it needs, uh, needs for this uh, intro. If it does, just direct it to the file to where you downloaded the file at, if you understand what I mean. If you don't, just hit search and wait for the file to come up and then click on the file. Uh, but you don't get that, that's good, I did everything right, and you know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't see that. Now, uh, here's the intro right here, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Okay, now, right here are the titles. Here's one, here's another one, and here's another one. Now, to change, to change the uh, letters on them, all you have to do is click right here where it says Generate Media. And from there, all you have to do is just uh, change the letters. You know, type in what you want it to be. Uh, if you want to change the size, you can do it here. Or if you don't even like the, uh, the text that I use, you can go ahead and change the text here. Uh, if you want to place the text somewhere else on the screen, you use this. Uh, if you want to change the color of the text, you, you can do it there. And the outline of, uh, of the text, you can change that right here as, as well. Also, if you don't like for the letters to be curved or anything, you can change that from right here. Okay, now, as you can see on this video, I have like kind of an old... Uh, old film to it a little bit. Uh, if you wanted to change that to where it'll be clear, um, personally I kind of like the oldness to it. It just makes it look a little bit more scarier. Uh, but if you want to take that off, all you have to do is click right here on Event FX, and right here where it says Film Effects, just right-click on it and remove, and that'll clear it up as you can see right here. And also, if you clear it up, this right here won't jump or anything like that. It's not jumping on anything. Here. So that that's how you do that. Uh, also, if you if it's got like too many titles in it, uh, and you want to take like one of them off or something like that, uh, all you have to do is go on which one you don't want, right click and hit delete. Simple as that. So that's pretty much how you edit this video. Okay, well that's it for this video. Comment, like, subscribe. Thank you, and have a nice day.